am not going through life regretfully I'd rather work non-stop What they call incessantly Than work some odd job To live life pleasantly Already got lost in my mind Not a fantasy I'm getting With all got souls So stop, drop, and roll Get lost, all control And pop off your bowl I got squat, I fold I'm not bought, I'm sold My stock rocks, it's gold Hey, knock, knock, she holds It's shit, talk to close I ain't stopping though It's hip-hop, you know Or is it rock and roll? I'm not dropping tone No, my pocket's grown You can't stop the show So get rocking on So let me break, break Break it all down for you I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never make it Welcome to Monday Night Raw everybody, hope you guys are having a great day so far We are only a few short weeks away from the first co-branded pay-per-view over the year, Money in the Bank. We start the men's and women's Money in the Bank qualifiers today, at least on the Raw side of things. Another sold-out crowd. We are here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let's get Raw underway now. Alright guys, we are kicking off Raw with the first men's Money in the Bank qualifier and out first, the architect, Seth Rollins. Last time we saw Seth, is that backlash? He, along with Roman Reigns, Dusty Rhodes, and Edge, put up a fight but took a loss courtesy of the Undisputed Era in 8-man tag team action. But Seth now looking to rebound and also looking to punch his ticket to Money in the Bank. If he could pick up a win here tonight, he'll be the first Raw superstar to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match in a few weeks' time. Seth, of course, no stranger to become being champion. So if he could get in the ladder match, win said ladder match, then he would have a guaranteed shot at becoming Universal Champion once again in his career. Seth, again, like we just said, also looking to rebound after a tough loss at Backlash. And we'll find out in a second who his opponent is. Okay. We just announced a couple weeks ago, or even, yeah, re we announced recently the Raw and SmackDown signings following the Evolve Showcase and making his Monday Night Raw debut. It is the original bro, Matt Riddle. The crowd very much excited now knowing Matt Riddle has an opportunity at being a part of the Money in the Bank ladder match. Just imagine someone like Matt Riddle holding the briefcase and cashing in whenever he so chooses. Crowd very much behind Matt Riddle in this one. Also seemingly behind Seth Rollins still as well. But a new fresh face here on Raw always sparks some excitement amongst the WWE Universe in attendance. So let's get the first Raw qualifier underway. Seth Rollins versus Matt Riddle, who will be the first Raw superstar to go to Money in the Bank. Oh, and Matt Riddle wasting no time, a high knee, taking Seth down quickly. But the Architect, Dragon Screw takedown, takes Riddle down momentarily. Both men now exchanging chops, middle of the ring, and look at the combination strikes. Open palm and a roundhouse kick there from Riddle. The original bro wasting no time. Goes for a splash in the corner, but Seth moves out of the way. Now a collar and elbow tie up. Riddle pushes him off a bit. And there are those open palm strikes and the kick to the side of the head a second time. And Riddle just relentless early on in this match. Rollins sent off the ropes. Now Matt Riddle sent into the corner. Turns him over. Now Matt putting Seth in the corner. Form smash to follow. Oh, jukes him out there. Slap to the face. Rollins now the one on the mat in some trouble. Riddle wisely moves him away from the ropes. Oh, and a kick right to the rib cage. Seth back in. And 
now a drop kick from the architect trying to mount a bit of a comeback both men going for moves and both missing kick to the midsection by Riddle and look at the takedown from the original bro takes Seth down to the mat quickly and a seated senton connects there from Riddle picks up Rollins once again kicks in midsection or left hand Owen Seth with a flat liner turning the tide of the matchup back into his favor kick to the midsection we know Riddle with a reversal takes down Rollins both men have been evenly matched so far there's the confidence oozing out of Matt Riddle I want to form there from Rollins do not want to anger someone like Seth now dumped over the top rope crashing to the floor Riddle taking advantage once again Seth back in and a big right hand knocks the architect right back down now Riddle with a stomp to the chest Rollins wisely moves out of the ring And now a sleeper slam there from Matt Riddle. Dropping Rollins on his neck. Goes for a kick, but no Rollins catches it. Sweeps the leg. Now Riddle, kick to the midsection. Picks him up. He calls this the bro to sleep. And into the straight jacket German suplex. Into the cover as well. One, two, and no Rollins. Kicks out just in time. The crowd loving this matchup so far. It's a very close near fall there for Matt Riddle. Seth still in this match. Oh, and a roundhouse kick. Look at this. Just wailing away on Rollins. Gets him locked into the, into the bro mission. Seth nowhere to go. Middle of the ring. Can he hold on? But no, Matt Riddle. Breaking the hold. Just trying to weaken Rollins a bit more. Now the architect with a forearm takes Riddle down quickly. Now Rollins mounting the comeback. Sling blade from Rollins. Seth up top. Looking for a big move. Goes for the frog splash middle of the ring. And now into the cover. One. Two and no Riddle still in this match. Rollins thought he had it there for a moment. Picks him right back up. No Riddle now with a reversal of his own. And there the combination strikes. Just misses the spinning back fist. Rollins fighting out. Pushes Riddle away. Goes for a kick but Riddle catches that quickly. The knee to the midsection from Seth Rollins. What a matchup to kick off Monday Night Raw and the debut of Matt Riddle here on Monday night. Rollins sent into the corner, takedown from Riddle. Wailing away at the former Universal Champion. Riddle to the top rope. Goes for another seated senton. Into the cover this time, one. Two and no Rollins still in this match. Gets right back up. Riddle can't believe it. Step in Gary. Riddle pushes him away. Goes for another takedown. The vicious kicks and strikes there from Riddle. Taking Seth Rollins down once again. Now Rollins fighting out. Bigger hands right to the face. Seth, schoolboy super kick right on the button. Hits Riddle right on the jaw. Drags him away from the rope. One, two, and R Rollins was a second away from going to money in the bank. But Riddle, finding a way to kick out. Arm drag takedown from the original bro. Picks up Rollins, going for another bro to sleep. Straight jacket, German suplex, doesn't bridge into the cover this time. And now, 
Look at this. He calls this the bro Derek. To put away Rollins once and for all. One. Two. Three. No. No, no, no. Wow. That was really close. Rollins. Able to power out at the last possible millisecond. But rail right to the top rope. Floating bro. The seated senton. To finish things off now. Two. Three. And what a match. Matt Riddle. Punches his ticket to the men's Money in the Bank ladder match at Money in the Bank pay-per-view. What a raw debut for that young man as well. Continued the offensive explosion there right at the end. But he puts away Seth Rollins once and for all there. A big win for Riddle as we see the instant replay again. Closing moments. The bro to sleep. And then the bro Derek. And the floating bro. All of the bro there from Matt Riddle. As he goes to money in the bank. We're going to hear from Dusty Rhodes. The Raw Assistant General Manager. Coming up next. But Riddle is victorious. Guys I'm out here to make a very very important announcement. And as you guys know in the past. When I come up with a big idea such as this. I get very very excited. For those who have never seen me do this before. Don't mind it. For good old Dusty Rhodes, this is normal, but my big announcement has to do with money in the bank. I'm going to cut right to the chase, because I have some other stuff to tend to after this. But come money in the bank. We know the issues between Finn Balor and Velveteen Dream that have been going on since Backlash. But you know what, Dusty's idea is this. How about they face off at money in the bank? But not just in any match. The stipulation, whoever wins will be a part of the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. So in the coming weeks, we'll, we will have three male qualifying matches, and the fourth will be at the pay-per-view itself. If they could, Whoever survives their opponent will get into the ladder match later on in the night. So Velveteen Dream and Finn Balor, get ready, because you are both. one of you is going to be pulling double duty, but both of you have a tough task ahead. But I know... That'll be a great match. And the best man will win. But a lot on the line in the Money in the Bank ladder match. I'm done here. I'm going to go for a jog. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this show. Alrighty guys, carrying on with this episode of Raw, we have another new face here on the roster. New the signing, contest. Tony Storm. She was impressive in that Whoa. fatal foray at the Evolve Showcase. Fell a Making bit short, but still a great showing goal. nonetheless. And she'll be taking on Dana Brooke. Wait a second, coming from behind. This is a women's qualifying match. The first one for Raw over the next couple of weeks. But Tony Storm doesn't see Dana Brooke behind her. Dana looking to get the sneak attack and the jump on the newcomer here to the Raw women's division. But now. Tony Storm sees Dana. This match is official. Tony Storm doesn't even get to make a full entrance. A headbutt from Storm takes down Dana Brooke momentarily. And a drop kick there from Dana, former Rollins champion. Trying to get back to the top of the mountain. Tony with the clothesline takes Dana Brooke down. Starting off this matchup quickly. That's for a kick to the midsection. Dana Brooke. Corkscrew takedown. Now Dana with some trash talking. Oh, she's not a fan of Tony Storm being in this position already. Big opportunity during her Raw debut. We already saw opening the show Matt Riddle defeating Seth Rollins in his Raw debut to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. But Tony Storm also looking to do the same thing right now. She just has to get through former Raw Women's Champion Dana Brooke. Big boot right to the face. Storm turning the tide of this matchup. Back into her favor already. Double underhook. Look at this. Double underhook. Got Buster there from Storm. Just removed. Dana Brooke pushes her away. Tony with a big boot to the face once again. Now some kicks to the midsection. 
Oh, got a cake down there from Tony. Vanderbrook fighting back. Storm with the reversal now into the corner. Goes for a splash, but Dana Brooks sidesteps it now. Speaking of sidestepping, Tony Storm sidesteps that maneuver from Dana. Gets hit with the side Russian leg sweep, though. One of these two women will be the first to qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match at pay per view in a couple weeks' time. Tony looking for Cold Coast neck breaker there. Cover on Dana to put her away. One, two, and no, Dana still in this match. Tony with a very close near fall. Now Thunder knocks it right down with the headbutt. Take two minute section. We've seen this before. Tony puts a strong zero. One, two, three. No, Dana Brooke kicking out. Powering out there right at the last possible millisecond. Finds a way to power out the Storm Zero. Tony now with an uppercut. Dana with the headlock. Tony fighting out. Big boot again. What a big slap. Takes Dana down to a knee. Going after the arm once again. Tony very impressive so far throughout this match. Look at that, Turk and Rana. Dana sent for a ride there, courtesy of Tony Storm. Double knees in the corner. Dana Brooks staying in this matchup, showing her resiliency. She's just taking quite the beating from Storm. German suplex right on her back and lower neck. Crowd loving Tony Storm's performance so far in this match. Looking for the gold post once again. Right on the leg. Dana Brooke may be out. Tony Storm not taking any chances. Kick to the midsection looking for the Storm Zero a second time in the match. Into the cover. One, two, three, and just like that, Tony Storm is going to Money in the Bank. A very impressive Raw debut for her as well tonight. These new rising stars making an immediate impact here on Monday Night Raw. Matt Riddle dispatching former Universal Champion Seth Rollins, and now Tony Storm dispatching former Raw Women's Champion Dana Brooke to qualify for the women's ladder match at Money in the Bank. A couple Storm Zeros later and Tony heading to her first main roster pay-per-view. A lot of bright futures shining here on Raw. Here Tony Storm, winner, just another one Tony looking Storm. to make a name for herself and a big win over former champion does just that. This young lady has a bright future for sure. All right, guys, here comes the Universal Champion, Kevin Owens. He has a mic in hand. Looks like we're going to hear from the champ following his big title defense at Backlash. Let's see what KO has to say. All I've been seeing on social media since my title retention at Backlash is that the Velveteen Dream gets the assist but you know what for people who think that way you guys are idiots I was going to win that match no matter what like I've been saying over the past few weeks but everyone that wants to keep crediting dream for that go right ahead you guys are wrong anyway as for Balor he put up a fight but the result was exactly as I said I was going to win he was going to lose that was pretty simple. And again, Velveteen Dream basically threatening that he's coming after my title. Doesn't scare me one bit. He's a strange, in strange individual, but strange does not scare me one bit. I want a challenge. I'll beat whoever it is. Whether it's Finn Balor again, Velveteen Dream, or someone else. 
it doesn't matter. This prize fighter will defend his title and hold it for as long as he so chooses. So if anyone in the back wants to fight me, maybe even at Money in the Bank as well, that's fine. Hey, even if you want to come out here right now, stand in the ring with the champ face to face like a man, go right ahead. Oh, and you guys booing me in the crowd. Hey guys, wait a second, wait a second, that is Sami Zayn's music. Looks like the Brandwagon 2.0 is still going on. Sami Zayn, former Intercontinental Champion over on SmackDown Live. Making his presence felt here on Raw right off the bat. Sami very excited. And we know the storied history between these two old foes dating back to their time in NXT prior to Universe Mode starting. Another one Kevin Owens has history with. And another fan favorite, Sami Zayn. Crowd. Also very excited that Sami is here now on Raw as well. Let's see what he has to say. You know what, Kevin? You said you wanted a challenge. How about facing another old friend, another old foe, and yours truly, Sami Zayn? Everything here on Raw seems to be going in an upward direction, and I figured why not come over here and get a taste of that myself. And seeing as you just said you want a challenge, how about it, old pal? Okay, Sammy, this whole excited act you have going on isn't going to impress or intimidate me. These idiots in the stands here today might fall for it, but I don't. But if it's a challenge you want, and a challenge I lay down, and you're picking it up, that is fine. But as I was saying before you so rudely interrupted me, I'm going to remain champion. Whether you, anyone else in the back, anyone in management, or anyone here today, thinks it's happening, man. Oh, you think this is an act? No. This is a new and approved Sami Zayn. You may have been former SmackDown Intercontinental Champion on the blue brand, but you know what? I'm coming over to Raw, and I'm going to take what's yours. I want the Universal Championship, and since you laid down the challenge, I accept. I'm gonna bring the fight of the life, fight of my life, to you, Kevin. You realize, Sammy, you're way too excited. You're stumbling over your own words, right? That too does not scare me. It just makes you seem like an idiot, just like all of these fans, or supposed fans, actually. There you go, Kevin. Always insulting the fans. Always thinking they're idiots, but no, they're the reason we're here every week, every month, and every year. You need to stop trying to undermine them and stop underestimating me. If anyone can beat you for the Universal Championship, you're looking at him, Kevin. Sammy, you just keep going on about how we don't respect the WWE Universe or anyone in the back, but I don't care what you have to say or what anyone else has to say. I'm the top dog here. I'm the champion, and you're not, nor will you ever be. So I'm going to give you a beating of a lifetime at Money in the Bank if it's made official, or right now, it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, stare off. There's sta a stare. Oh, what, what the heck? Can you get the sentence out there? But Sammy's in clocking Kevin Owens with the mic. And now these two going at it. Sammy Zane must have had enough of Kevin Owens. He must have struck a chord with Sammy as well. But again, we know the history between these two men. Former best friends turned bitter rivals. Now renewing that rivalry here right now as Owens tries to get some offense and a chop to the chest from Sami Zayn. What a raw debut for Sami as well. Former Intercontinental Champion. Going right after Owens. Fisherman's suplex there from Sami. 
is this going to be a preview of Money in the Bank? Find out from Edge and Dusty Rhodes if this match is going to be official for the pay-per-view. We will find out in the coming weeks. As these two men just going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Sammy sent to the floor there. Kevin Owens standing tall. All right, everyone. Time for tonight's main event, and it is a big women's division tag team match. Out first, the Raw Women's Champion Bailey. She will be teaming up with her best friend, the boss, Sasha Banks. And they will be taking on Ronda Rousey and making her Raw debut as well. Her official in ring Raw debut as well, Shayna Baszler. Going back to backlash with Bailey versus Ronda Rousey. Then, out of nowhere towards the end of that match, Shayna Baszler came out, completely decimated Bailey with a kendo stick. Thus, ending that matchup in a disqualification. Bailey ended up retaining, but the message from Shayna Baszler was sent. And also, last episode of Raw, Shayna Baszler sending another message to the champion, attacking Bailey from behind after her match with Nia Jax. Shayna Baszler making her intentions very, very clear. She wants Bailey and wants that Raw Women's Championship. And if you guys remember back to the end of NXT last year, Shayna Baszler does has a women's title opportunity that she earned after winning the NXT Women's Championship at the final NXT TakeOver of the series. So Shayna Baszler seemingly invoking that title opportunity. Specific details still need to be made official. That pretty that match is pretty much happening at this point. Just a matter of when. Sasha Banks backing up Bailey here tonight in this tag team match. Ronda Rousey not too happy about one losing the title at WrestleMania to Bailey and two technically losing the rematch at Backlash, but that was technically not even Bailey's doing. That was more her friend Shayna Baszler's doing, but in that case. Ronda Rousey's probably okay with that, but still. Ronda Rousey, very dangerous, very determined. Of course, wants to be women's champion again. But now it's Shayna Baszler at her side. Or at the side of Shayna Baszler, however you want to look at it. These two women, very dangerous individually. And even more dangerous together. So Bailey and Sasha, you need to be very, very careful in this match. You can hear some of the WWE Universe chanting Ronda Rousey's name. Like we just said, making her in-ring Raw debut. Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. And her partner, Everyone knows by now Super what Shayna is capable of when she was shown Bailey firsthand. Baszler. Just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how dangerous she really is. As we've seen from several superstars, not just in this episode, but since the beginning of the year, a lot of these young up-and-comers, specifically the draft picks from NXT, all looking for looking for a way to make a name for themselves, and they've been paving their own path, to say the least, going after some of Raw's top. Stars, whether it's former champions, current champions, or just fan favorites. They've been making a name for themselves and making immediate impacts, and it's just exciting. And also quite scary, in a way, seeing all these young men and women rising up the ranks quickly and paving their own path, as we said. Now Ronda Rousey, Bailey starting things off a sleeper hold right off the bat from the former champion. Current champ with the jawbreaker breaks the hold. Oh, the drop kick to Ronda right to the face. Which from 
move. Bailey moves out of the way. Ronda now with a reversal of her own. As we said, as Ronda slams Bailey down to the mat, as we've said during the Tony Storm Dana Brooke match, a lot of rising stars, a lot of bright futures ahead of the men and women on this Raw roster. Makes it even more exciting to see how the rest of this year progresses. Who will climb to the top of the mound and who will scratch and claw? Who will make their own opportunities as Bailey now looking for a tag? Or Sasha rather looking for a tag from Bailey. Ronda sent off the ropes. Archer and Ronda there from the Rollins champion. Picks her up. Ronda kick to the midsection. Oh, and a big clothesline takes her down quickly. Bailey makes the tag to Sasha. Ronda with another takedown. Very dangerous combination of Ronda Rousey as she just hits a Superman punch there on Banks. Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, deadly combination. Sasha Banks sent into that corner. Now we get to see what Shayna Baszler can do. Drop toe hold, elbow drop combination. Now Baszler, the legal person in this match. Bailey gets her way back onto the apron. And look at this. Driving the knee into the lower back and the ribcage of Sasha Banks. Now going for a vertical suplex, but look at the strength of Baszler. A little delayed drop there as Bailey looks to get back in this matchup. Single leg drop kick there from Baszler. Picks up Sasha once again. Driving the knee into the side. Applying as much pressure as possible. And now has an arm bar locked in. Just yanking on the left arm of Sasha Banks. Shayna Baszler very methodical. Very powerful. And we're seeing that on display right now. Another vertical suplex there from the former NXT Women's Champion. Oh, and a roundhouse kick right to the side of the head. Bigger hand to Bailey, but no, Bailey blocks it. Hits Baszler with a forearm. Bailey forced off the apron momentarily. Sasha now fighting back, getting some offense in against Baszler. But right as we say that, Shayna turns things around. Kick right to the face. One. No, oh, Sasha Banks kicks out. Oh, and a hot tag right to Bailey. Bailey with an opportunity to get her hands on Shayna Baszler after her two attacks from Backlash and last episode of Raw. Now Shayna with the reversal. Running Bulldog to Bailey. Look at this. Just knees right to the face. Oh, another one. Nearly knocking the champion out. Uh oh, Bailey in trouble. Look at this gut wrench. Slam. Gets herself up into a second one. Look at the strength on display. And now into the cover. One, two. And Banks in there to save the matchup. Saving her best friend. The knees to the face of Bailey once again. Shane Razor, again, who's been setting this whole, this whole match so far, very, very dangerous in every aspect. Not only powerful, she's quick as well. Look at that. Speaking of the quickness, I'm focusing on Sasha Banks. Vertical suplex to the boss. Plants her in the middle of the ring. Bailey looking for the comeback. Shayna Baszler sent into the corner, but no. Uh oh, kick to the midsection. Into the Karafuda clutch. Has it locked in, but no. Bailey had her hands under the bottom rope. That might have been it. If not for the ring placement. Bailey now. Trying to get out of it. 
Car and elbow tie up. Pushes Baszler away. Arm drag takedown of the champion. On the running knee again. And this has been a pretty lopsided tag team match. Baszler and Ronda have been just running rough shot on Banks and Bailey as the referee gets knocked down inadvertently. And Bailey puts a suplex of her own in the corner. And the Rollins champion will her weight to victory once again. Kick there from Shayna. Crowd cheering for Banks and Bailey. And the champion trying to maintain control. Baser face first makes the tag to Sasha Banks. Baser off the ropes. Double back body drop. Nice combination there from the Boston Hug connection. Pulling for him, rocking Baszler. Picks her up. Sasha looking to end things, but no. Queen of Spades fighting her way back in. Running STO. Makes the tag back to Rousey. This has been quite the main event. The crowd definitely enjoying it as well. Baszler. Moves out of the way, that allows Ronda to toss, or let Sasha Banks toss herself out of the ring. Ronda using Sasha's momentum against her. Crowd on their feet, trying to will Sasha Banks back into the ring, back into this matchup. Now in the meantime, Ronda going after Bailey. Takes her down. Oh, and a super and punching rocking both. Banks and Bailey there. Ronda's been relentless as well in this match. Now Rousey looking for the Piper's pit on Banks. Tossing Banks into the corner. Bailey tags herself in. Ronda tags in Baszler. On another running knee. Needs the Banks as well. She rolls out of the ring. Shayna Baszler has a plan, and so far it's working beautifully. Another cure through the clutch locked in. But no Bailey trying to turn herself around, and she's getting some elbow shots into the side of Baszler. Breaks the submission hold again. Oh, looking for the Bailey to belly suplex, but no Ronda distracting the referee. Ronda fighting her way back in and breaks up the pinfall attempt. Now reversal from Baszler. Running STO. Sasha Banks still knocked out on the outside. Roundhouse kick from Shayna. Bailey with the left hand. Foreman obviously visibly exhausted at this point as Shayna goes for another running knee. But Bailey moves out of the way now. Oh, rocking the challenger. Not even the challenger, but rocking Baszler. Now Forum to the champion. Shayna down to a knee. And now takes Sasha off of the apron. Shayna and Ronda have Bailey all to themselves. There are the knees right to the face. And another one. A more vicious knee strike there. And Bailey is groggy. Can she fight back in? Just perform, but Shayna backs off. Body slam. Picks Bailey up once again. Back first into the turnbuckle. Bailey sent into the corner again. Now Bailey fighting back. And Shayna with the forearm right there. Bringing the tie of this matchup again. Again, Shayna focusing on Sasha Banks. 
making sure she's not involved. Do not break up the pinfall or submission attempt. Okay, to the midsection. The gut wrench. Suplex. Powering her way into doing a second one. And now, prisoning herself into the cover on Bailey. Two. Three, that is it. Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey win, but Shayna Baszler just pinned the Raw Women's Champion, Bailey. What a main event. As we see those gut wrench suplexes again. Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey pick up a huge win. And again, Shayna sending another message to Bailey. She just pinned the Raw Women's Champion. She didn't already have a title opportunity in her back pocket. I would say she just earned one right there again. What an impressive match. Banks and Bailey held on for as long as they could. But the powerful combination of Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler was just a bit too much. This will wrap up Monday Night Raw. If you guys enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see everybody next time.